So we've been talking about expanding logs for a little while, where you take something that is uh, maybe a single logarithm like this, and we turn it into uh, something that's much longer, uh, but each of the logs is simple. In this example, we're going to condense logarithms. Okay, we're going to start condensing them. So we take a bunch of logs. Okay, this one's not that many, but it's two logarithms. And we're going to try to condense it down so it's just a single logarithm. We're going to use the same product rules, quotient rules, and power rules as before. So I've got log base 27 of 3 plus log base 27 of 9. And I want to say, what is that equal to? So we just use the product rule, and we say this is equal to the logarithm, same base, base 27. And because I'm adding these two logarithms together, right, that's the product rule, where this becomes 3 times 9 on the inside of the parentheses. And if you need to convince yourself of that, just try to go backwards. Split up 3 times 9 using the product rule to expand it out to log of 3 plus log of 9. And now, once you have that 3 times 9 in there, you can say, well, that's just uh, 27, right? And every now and then, you'll have something that works out cute, like in this example where uh, log base 27 of 27, well, that's just equal to 1, right? Okay, so that's that's a bit of a math joke right there. Uh, I know. <laughs> okay. So next one, let's take a look at this example right here. Move that to the top of the page. So I've got log base 2 of 2 minus log base 2 of x plus 3 log base 2 of b. And I want to put this into a single logarithm. Now, you might be tempted to just say, well, log base 2 of 2, that's just 1, which is true. It is. But if we're told to put this all into a single logarithm, you might not want to put 1 right there. Okay, you could, but Let's just not for now, for argument's sake. Uh, let's just write this as a single logarithm. So this is going to be log base 2. And remember, anything that's positive goes, goes on the top of a fraction. Anything that's negative goes on the bottom, according to the product and quotient rules. So I've got a 2 that's positive. I've got, uh-oh, uh mm, that one looks more complicated. Hold on. Let's back up here. What are we going to do with this exponent out front? Um... Let's turn this into log base 2 of b cubed, okay, using the power rule. And now we're ready to add that b cubed in here. So we've got 2b cubed on top because those were both positives. And now we've got this minus log of x. See that minus sign right there? So that means x is going on the bottom. Uh, so this is what I would call the answer to this one if they want it as a single logarithm. Now... It would also be correct to write it in this form, where this log base 2 is just the number 1. Okay, and then you would still have all the rest of this. 1 plus log base 2, and now you put in parentheses everything that was left. You'd have your b cubed up top. You have your x on the bottom. And which one of these is right? Well, it kind of depends what the question is asking. If it's just asking for you to re rewrite this using some power rules and quotient rules, then I guess you could do either. But if it wants it in a single logarithm form, maybe this would be better. So next one, let's take, let's take this number eight right here. Uh, I'm gonna try, whoa, no, no, not that. I'm gonna try to combine this all into a single logarithm. And there's a couple of things to notice, one of which is I've got a fraction of one fifth out front here. And that might seem like it's going to cause some problems, but it's really not. See, we're going to take these uh, logarithms, and I've got log base 9 of, and I know I can combine them together, so let's, let's do that. I've got a positive log of c, so that's going to be c at the top of a fraction. And what's over here? Well, this is just going to be v to the power of 1 fifth. Can I write this in here? There we go. c divided by v to the 1 fifth. Okay, now what about this other piece over here? That's log base 2 of m. Well, you might be tempted to just stick that m up here, but that would not be correct, and here's the reason why. This is a log base 2, and this is a log base 9, and they do not mix. So we're just going to have to keep that separate. This is going to be log base 2 
of m over there. So that's those logarithms combined, as much as we can anyway. Here's the last example. And this is something a little weird. Sometimes you get an example where it says log base x of q equals negative 8, log base x of p equals 5. What's log base x of q, q cubed? Should have thought about this more. Q cubed divided by p to the fourth. And this is a common ACT question. What it's really just asking you in a weird way is, do you know what the power quotient and product rules are? Because log base x of q cubed over p to the fourth, well, that's just, we're going to have to do a couple things at once. I'll, I'll go through the steps. Let's do this carefully. Uh, log base x of q cubed, I'm really regretting this variable choice now, minus log of p to the fourth, okay, which if you work out the exponents just becomes 3 log x of q minus 4 log of p. And what's log of q? Well, that's negative 8. So this is 3 times negative 8 minus 4 times what's log of p? That's 5. So this becomes negative 24 minus 20. So the answer in this case would be negative 44.